So in this video, we're going to be doing something slightly different. So typically we have the equations of, of a different functions, and then we have to graph them. But rather, we're going to look at how, what you do if you have an exponential logarithmic graph, and then you have to find the equation of it. So these are looking at the different points, looking at the asymptotes, and therefore summing into a general equation to be able to find out the eventual, the original equation it was graphed from. So to begin, we'll think about like the typical two points sort of sub in. So this is when we'll have an exponential, and we said that the general graph is equation, they said here, is equal to y is equal to a e x plus b. Now an exponential could also be y is equal to a to the e x plus b plus uh, big b, could also be y is equal to a e c x plus b. So you have to look at what general form they give you. So in this case, they've given us this, so we don't have to worry about the other ones. Now we look at the, this is a graph, and we see that there are two points. And that's why I'm saying this like sort of the two points. What you do is that from these two points, you'll get an equation in terms of a and b. Then these two ones you'll get in terms of a and b as well. However, sometimes for an x-intercept, depending on what the equation is, you'll just be automatically able to find what one point is, but from these ones you can't. So firstly, looking at 0, 7. So that's when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 7. So summing this in, we get 7 is equal to a e to the 0 plus b. Remember, e to the 0 is not 0, but rather e to the 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, 7 is equal to a plus b. So that's sort of the first equation we can um, get from this information. Looking at the second one, we know that x is equal to log e 3 on 10. Remember that ln um, refers to log e x. So we have log e 3 on 10 and y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to a e to the log e 3 on 10 plus b. Now the e's and e's cancel, and then the 3 on 10 comes down. So we get 0 is equal to 3 on 10 a plus b. So we can solve this by hand, by subbing in the different equations. You can say that a, or like b is equal to 7 minus a. So we get 0 is 3 on 10. Then we can solve those, or you can use a calculator. And so you end up finding that a is equal to 10. A is equal to 10 and B is equal to negative 3. So therefore, the equation is Y is equal to 10 e to the X minus 3. And there would be an asymptote there at negative 3. However, they don't give us the asymptote, or then that would be another piece of information. However, if you were graphing that, remember you would have to put the asymptote in and you'd have to label the axis Y and X. So they do give us the asymptote, then we can use this to tell us some more information. So we're looking at this one and we have y is equal to 3. It's an exponential and we know it's been shifted up and then they've given us a 0 0.05. So firstly, the normal exponential has a asymptote here at y is equal to 0 and then it looks like that. However, this one, to increase, to move the asymptote up, no dilations do that. So it has to have been no reflections um, do that unless it's been uh, reflect, reflected uh, after it's been translated. But we're looking at the translation. So to do this, there needs to be a translation. So that's like plus three units up there. So to achieve this, you would need to replace y with y minus three. So this would cause y is equal to a to the ex plus 3, because you have to plus 3 to the other side. Therefore, we can see that b is equal to 3 from this asymptote. So we know that b is equal to 3, and we've got the graph there. Then, what is a to the ex? So then we have to look at this other point here, so 0, 5. So that's x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. So in the end, we get 5 is equal to a times e to the x plus 3. Now, x is equal to 0, so e to the 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, 5 is equal to a plus 3, and then a is equal to 2. So the final equation is that y is equal to 2, e to the x, plus 3. 
So when you do these qu questions, just make sure you look at all the information given. So all the different points, all the different asymptotes, work out what or see what they tell you the general form is, and then you can just sub in the different pieces of information. If you started with the point, that would have been fine, but this would have been in terms of B as well. So instead of three, it would have been B. And if that was the case, then you would need to work out from the asymptote what B was, and you could also sub what B is in then. Oh, down here, this would have been B. So you would have got A is equal to five minus B. So you would have had an equation in terms of B, but once you work out what B is, you could sub it in. So you'd eventually get the answer. So we have a question. So find the equation of the form y is equal to a log e x plus b plus c. So now we've got three variables. So a, small b, and c. And then when instead of exponential, now we're looking at log. Now we're looking at a log function. So what information are they giving us? Well, they've given us the asymptote. They've given us one point, and they've given us a second point. So we're looking at the asymptote first, because it's always probably good to start with the asymptote. Generally, with a log you have in the basic form you have an asymptote there where x is equal to zero so to achieve this you need to translate it two units across so you need to replace x with x plus two so that means we're going to have the form y is equal to a log e x plus two plus c so that means b is equal to two so when you do do these equations you do have to find each of the three so what i do is you do have to write down what each of the three values are equal to, and then also write the final equation. And that means even though if they're asking you for the values or they're asking you for the final equation, you always get the answer right. So they always put both. So you have b is equal to 2, and it's x plus 2 plus c. Now you can see there's two points, so it's a similar method to what we've done before. So I'm just going to write that out to give more room. Now we can solve these. So we have... We'll start with this one, e to the 2 or 3 minus 2, 0. So we know that x is equal to e to the 2 to the power of 2 and 3 minus 2, and y is equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to a log e, e to the 2 on 3, minus 2 plus 2 plus c. Remember that plus 2 is a b, which we've already found out. Now log e, e to the 2 on 3, the e's cancel, and the 2 on 3 comes down. Or we can bring the 2 on 3 down, and then you know that log e, e is equal to 1. So that means you get 0 is equal to 2 to 3a plus c. So we've got the first equation. But now we want to find the second equation. So we'll look at this one. So it's obviously decimal places, so this is going to be done on the calculator. We'll just derive the first equation. So 58883 is equal to log e 2a plus c. And then... That's because when x is equal to 0, it's 0 plus 2. So you have log e2 times that by a, and then plus c. So over here is, let's write it out bigger, log e2, so a times log e2 plus c, and that is equal to the 0 0.158. A. So summing this into your calculator, you can find these two values, a and c. Now, because it's decimal places here, you have to be careful However, once you sum into your calculator, you'll see that you'll actually get an exact value. So you'll get that a is equal to 6 and c is equal to negative 4. So as I said before, you need to state those values. If it was decimal places, you need to be careful how many decimal places you put it to. However, these ones are integers. So a is equal to 6, c is equal to negative 4. And then remember that before, b was equal to 2. Therefore, the equation is y is equal to 6 log e x plus 2 minus 4. And then you can check those and you'll see that with this equation, those three, uh, those two points and that asymptote are the same when you graph this equation.